Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to enable a dynamic refresh rate on your Windows 11 computer. So basically, a dynamic refresh rate is a measure of how quickly your screen refreshes. So a 60 hertz refresh rate basically means your computer screen will update 60 times every second, as opposed to 30 hertz a second, which would be 30 times every second, or even up to 120 hertz refresh rates. So this will depend on your monitor settings as well, which will limit what your options are. But I will show you guys how to enable the dynamic refresh rate options, or at least the process by which you would enable it. So it should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the search menu and type in settings, best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the left side, you want to select system. And then on the right side, you want to select display. And then scroll down underneath related settings and select advanced display, display information, comma, refresh rate. And then you want to scroll down underneath where it says choose a refresh rate. Click on the drop down here. If you have different options such as dynamic, you would select dynamic, which would allow you to switch between 60 or 120 hertz, for example, as one possible configuration. However, like I said, not all monitors support that. That's why you're not seeing it on my screen here. But if your hardware did support a dynamic refresh rate, there would be an option in here. You can select dynamic, and then you go between 60 or 120 hertz per second for example. So just if you're talking about system requirements, I believe you need a WDDM 3.0 graphics driver or higher in order to actually allow that option to appear. And one way you can look into that would be if you close out of here and type into the search menu DXDIAG and went ahead and ran that command. Select yes and give that a moment select the display tab and then there would be an option underneath driver model over here on the right it says WDDM it has to be at least 3.0 or higher in my case it's 1.2 that's why it's not showing up so pretty straightforward process guys do advise to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye